In XD, you can export production-ready assets locally for your devs or anyone else that needs them. Suppose that in this design, we need to export a series of icons. With this document open or your own, select the content you want to export first. You can select these icons. On macOS and Windows, in the Layers panel, the name of the object becomes the name of the exported asset. So you can set those first if you want to or leave them at their default names. To export, press Command and E on macOS or Control and E on Windows, and you'll see the dialog box. You can choose to export in a number of formats, including PNG, JPEG, SVG, and even PDF. For these icons, we'll look at a few different formats. Let's start with PNG. Just one quick note, on macOS, if a single asset is selected before you export, you can change the name of the exported asset right in here. Okay, when you select PNG, you can choose to export the assets in the following ways. Design, which is the default option where your asset is exported to one ping file at 100%. Web, which creates two ping files exported at 1x or 100% and 2x or 200%. iOS, which exports three assets at 1x, 2x, and 3x resolution. And Android creates a series of assets that are optimized and exported for these Android screen densities you see here. Now the default artboard sizes for various iOS devices assume you're designing it 1x. So if you use the default artboard sizes in XD, leave your export at 1x. But you'd change design that to 2x if you doubled the width and height of your artboards. Let's take a quick look at the other formats before we come back. For JPEG, you can adjust the quality. And Web gives you two JPEG files, one at 100% and one at 200%. You can also choose SVG. With SVG, you can choose to embed any images with the vector. All of the SVG code plus the image within is saved as base64. If I leave it as link, then I have the information about the SVG with a link to a ping. You can even optimize the file to make it smaller so it'll download faster. Choose ping again and make sure iOS is chosen since these are for an app. Then click export to see the three images created. Now, another way to export is to batch export. In order to do this, you want to mark the assets that you will batch export first. So, for instance, if you selected other artwork, like these icons, you can select Mark for Export in the Property Inspector you see here. You can also go to the Layers panel and Mark for Export by clicking on this icon. Now, with nothing selected, you can batch export by choosing File, Export, Batch. Or in Windows, clicking the icon and choosing Export Batch. In the dialog box, you can choose your format and simply click Export. As you can see, there are several ways to optimize and export your content to create production-ready assets when you need.